The question that comes up a lot is how do I save power on my drives and does spinning them down really save you that much? And I'm not here to debate the wear and tear of spinning down and spinning back up HDDs because, well, I think that does cause a little extra wear and tear, but there's going to be a lot of debate about that. What there isn't any debate about is you can definitely save wattage by putting them in standby mode but how much? So for this experiment, I grabbed my Zima. I have a controller attached to it. I've done a whole video on that. You'll find linked down below, but I connected four Seagate Exo Enterprise drives. I connected a power supply to power those drives. It does not power the Zima. It's got its own power supply separately. So all the wattage is just what the power supply is taking from the wall. And the experiment will show when the hard drives are at idle versus when they are in full standby, spun down, and when they're in use. And we'll just explore the wattage and I'll show you the parameters and commands I'm using to test it. So let's get started. <music> Now I'm logged into the Zima and we can see the four hard drives right here. Right now it's running at about 26.5, 26.6 watts because the drives haven't been doing anything. There's no writes going to them. There's no reads. And we're going to change that by running an F disk dash L. Now they're not spun down. This is just the idle mode of the drives completely default parameters. And you'll see after we do the FDIS-L, we get about 34 and a half watts. So they've bumped up a little bit because there's been some access and activity on them. And if we wait, they'll go back down to that 26.5, 26.6. But let's put them to sleep. And that we're going to use a sleep command for. And I just put this together as a go to sleep. It's just HD parm tac capital Y slash each one of the drives. So if we run go to sleep, After we wait a few moments, the power will idle down these drives and they're all spinning down right now. And eventually we're going to slow down all the way to about 17.7 watts. Now that the drive is idling at that wattage, let's go ahead and wake it back up. And we'll just run that same F disk command. And you'll notice it's going to pause a long time and spike the drives because, well, we have to wake them back up, which is actually going to cause a lot more wattage because it's got to take them from zero all the way to their full RPMs. And of course, if you're running this on a NAS and you had them in sleep mode, this might cause issues because of the time it takes to do writes. The NAS may time out and give some type of error that it cannot find those drives. So with these four drives, I was able to save an entire nine watts of power spinning them down. Not a huge savings. Honestly, if you want to save power on your NAS, turning it off and setting up Wake on LAN would probably make a lot more sense because then you could find some other device, maybe even a Raspberry Pi or maybe even your PFSense firewall if you're using one of those that has built in Wake on LAN that would allow you to wake up a device, do your backups, and then shut it back down because, yes, that would definitely save a lot more power shutting the entire system down. Now, wear and tear wise, as I said in the beginning, I don't know. The jury still seems to be out on that. There's a lot of debate. I feel on, on the side of it does wear and tear the drives a lot more. But let me know what you think. Uh, is that just a myth? And has anyone done any really conclusive experiments where they take a drive and power cycle it every day and another one they don't? And how long did those drives last? And it would take quite a few drives to do an experiment like that. I don't know if anyone's really done it, but hey, I am a little curious. Either way, leave your thoughts and comments down below. Like and subscribe if you want to see more content from the channel. Head over to my forums, forums.lawrencesystems.com to have more in-depth discussion about this or other videos. And thanks. Mm -hmm.